In this screencast, we're going to look at how to name simple binary compounds. So binary means compounds that are made up of only two elements. So we are talking about um, compounds that are made up of elements from the main group of the periodic table. And hopefully you'll remember from when we did um, electrons and atoms, we're talking about those elements that are in the S section and those that are in the P section of the periodic table. When we talked about naming ions, we talked about the difference in how we name ions if they're positive or negative. So positive ions are named with just their regular name. Okay, so just whatever the name of the element is on the periodic table, that's how we name the ion. Negative ions, on the other hand, change their ending to IDE. Okay, so for example, instead of sulfur, it would become sulfide. So we follow these same rules when we're naming compounds. For example, if we have LiCl, Okay, we know that Li is the positive ion and Cl is the negative ion. So when we name it, we name the positive ion, which is just lithium. And then we name the negative ion. Chlorine has a name ending change to chloride. So our name for the compound is simply lithium chloride. In our first example, LiCl, lithium chloride did not have any subscripts, no numbers in the formula. Well, here we do have numbers in the formula. So we have Al2O3. We know that aluminum has a plus 3 charge, and oxygen has a minus 2 charge based on their locations on the periodic table. Aluminum with a plus 3 charge, since it's a positive charge, there's no name change from the element name, so it's just simply aluminum. O with a minus 2 charge is oxygen, but because it has a negative charge, we change the ending of the name to IDE, so it's going to be aluminum oxide. So you can see here that the numbers had no, um, no consequence for naming the compound. So it doesn't matter that there are subscripts, we just still name the ions. Likewise, with BA3N2, BA is barium, and we know based on its location on the periodic table, it has a plus 2 charge. N is nitrogen. Based on its location on the periodic table, it has a negative 3 charge. Again, we're just naming the ions. So Ba is barium, and because it has a positive charge, we don't change the name. And N, with a minus 3 charge, is nitride. We change the ending from nitrogen to IDE. So barium nitride is the name of the compound. So when we're dealing with uh, the, the main group elements on the periodic table, even if we have parentheses somewhere, the numbers don't matter. We're simply naming the ions that make up the ionic compound. 